Okay. So now we will have to discuss the second part, you know, that is what is the pathway of killing cell number 2. Okay. So, let's talk about the pathway of killing cell number 2. Okay. Okay. So now listen. Now, you should always remember that extrinsic pathway, in extrinsic pathway the signaling comes from outside, right? Suppose this is cell number 2. Now, listen. You know something called tumor necrosis factor? You know something called tumor necrotic factor but, or tumor necrosis factor? Now, if you don't know, obviously we will talk about this in details when we will be talking about cancer biology. But for the time being, you should always remember that every cell in your body expresses a kind of tumor necrotic factor receptor. Okay? TNF receptor. It's like that. Okay? Now, these are, these, you know, these receptors, these receptors resemble tumor necrosis factor receptors. Okay, TNF actually is a, you know, protein. Now, you should always remember, these receptors always from, form a trimer. They are present in the set of three, okay. They are present in the set of three. Okay. Now listen with all your attention. Whenever a cell, suppose this is this was cell number one, and this was cell number two. Whenever cell number one will try to kill cell number two, you should always understand one thing. That is, cell number one will have to express the ligand for these receptors. Okay. Now important point to understand now the ligand for these receptors the ligand for these receptors are the ligand for these receptors are also you know trimeric in nature that means when three receptors come together, they will work. But the protein which is activating these three receptors at one time, this is a trimeric protein. That means three proteins are assembled together. Okay. The protein which actually triggers the extrinsic pathway is called FAS ligand. Okay. And obviously, the receptors which receive this fast ligand is known by the name of fast receptor. Okay. Now listen. A very important point for you to understand is fast receptors have a domain. Fast receptors have a domain which is known by the name of DD. Okay, what do you mean by the term DD? DD stands for DD stands for Okay In your exams also, you don't have to write the whole thing here, okay R Write the apply the full mm, short forms and write the full forms in a ligand format. Okay DD stands for Death domain now listen with all your attention possible. Now, that means whenever fast ligand interacts with, whenever fast ligand interacts with fast receptors, death domains which are, which are an integral part of fast receptors get, gets excited. Okay. Whenever fast ligand gets excited, they will 
try to attach with fast receptor why they are trying to attach because they have got signal that phosphatidyl serine is present outside that's why they are activated and now they will attach with fast, fast receptor and fast receptors are de have death domain and now listen with all your attention there is one protein there is one protein which is very much peculiar you know uh, i will draw the protein obviously here but let me explain it here this protein looks like this this protein looks like it looks exactly like this listen now important point to understand is this this protein has a death domain this protein also has a death domain and this protein has ded this is called d e d this is called d e d and this is called and this is called dd okay death domain this is death domain and this is ded ded stands for d ded stands for death effector domain death effector domain now listen with all your attention now listen what is happening is when fast ligand interacts with when fast ligand interacts with fast receptor which is actually which is actually another protein which belongs to another receptor which belongs to tumor necrosis factor receptor family okay tnf receptor family now listen when fast ligand interacts with this fast receptor then the death domains which are present already within the fast receptor are activated and they will now call their you know partners another death domain another death domain which are present in this type of proteins now listen what is the name of this protein you will understand don't worry now listen this this is a death effector domain right now listen with all your attention possible you know i have already mm, told you about something called caspase right now i have already told you about is this coming in the camera i have already mm, talked about you know mm, types of caspases and their numberings right i have told you that this this is very important this is inflammatory caspase this is initiator caspase and this is executioner caspases 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right now listen with all your attention so in the whole you know apoptotic pathway discussion we will obviously not talk about inflammatory pathway because it is a it, it, this this will be discussed in great details when we will be talking about immunology now 
we will discuss these two things initiator cash prices and executioner cash prices now listen with all your attention uh, one thing you should know about cash price okay i have already discussed in great details what is cash price now you should always remember this suppose this is the cash price protein okay now cash price protein has two parts you know this is the first part this is the first part and this is the second part this is the second part very important point to understand why i am talking about this listen this part which is smaller in nature has carboxyl domain this part actually has carboxyl end not the domain sorry and this part has the amino dom amino terminal now listen you should always understand one thing that with the nh2 or amino terminal another ded is attached another ded is attached that means whenever i am talking about actual caspases then caspase actually looks like this in your cell okay that is they have two portions one is bigger one is smaller why i am talking about this is very important whenever i am talking about caspases you should always remember that they have two portions that is one is bigger and another is smaller and the sm and to the smaller portion to the smaller portion cwh terminal or carboxyl terminal towards the smaller portion carboxyl terminal is there and towards the bigger portion nh2 terminal or amino terminal is there now remember to the amino terminal to the amino terminal ded is present now listen ded will now interact with this ded that means listen suppose i am drawing like this suppose i am drawing like this listen with all your attention dd 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 bigger portion of the caspase right and then smaller portion of the caspase is bigger portion of the caspase then smaller portion of the caspase bigger portion and then smaller portion right now they have c double h carboxyl terminal now listen now listen with all your attention possible what was the actual function of this thing you know this protein what was the function of this protein listen if you know the name of this protein then you will understand what was the function the name of this protein is known by the name of this protein is known by the name of adapter protein what is the function of an adapter you all know listen death domain is there with fast receptor death domain is attached but death domain is not attached with caspases but two caspases death effector domain or ded is attached now this protein is acting like an adapter okay you know we live in india but if you travel to us you will have to carry the adapters why because the sockets electronic sockets will not match the radius and, and you know length of that you know the appliance so that's the very basic point you should understand that this protein works like an adapter that means caspase doesn't know how to get activated this fast receptor doesn't know how to activate the caspase either but this protein actually bridge the bridges the gap this protein this protein actually bridges the gap okay okay now listen no need to draw just understand this you will get these things in great details in albert's book okay don't worry
but you should remember and understand this very carefully now listen so this is the ad adapter protein right now listen this whole thing that is death domain death effector domain this whole complex and fast receptor these things together is known by the name of death disc this is very important disc what is the actual you know full form of disc that is death inducing signaling complex that means if disc is produced or disc has been you know identified in a cell that means cell will surely undergo apoptosis okay okay so now